Hi, this is Rachel from In the Library of Lady Relay, and this is my vlog from my in my mailbox. I'm re recording this because the last one, for some reason, went all weirdly slow and out of sync and whatever, so I'm gonna have to do it again. <sighs> Taking up time I can't afford. But yeah, anyway, I actually have books this week, which is kind of cool. Um, the first one I got was when I went into town like earlier this week and went to the charity shop, found a pretty darn beat up copy of. Cross Stitch by Diana Gabaldon, which is Outlander. For some reason there's different titles for the US and UK, but anyway, yeah. This is like a pretty old edition, but it's pretty beat up, you can tell by the spine. But I'm taking it on holiday with me, so since I'm going to a hot place where there may be beach and water, if I take this and it gets a bit damaged, don't quite mind, because I can always buy a new one. Although hopefully I won't back damage my other books, because they're new. But yeah. I'm quite looking forward to reading this. I've heard a lot of good things about it, and it seems like the kind of stuff I'd like, so hopefully I can get into that series. The uh, second book I got was when I went up on the same day I went to another bookshop. I was getting myself some new contact lenses, and it was 75 pence. Seriously. This bookshop in the works is like crazy cheap, and it's awesome. But I got uh, Place Beyond Courage by Elizabeth Chadwick. I have read this already this year, but I borrowed it from the library, and I want to have all my my own copies of um, Elizabeth Chadwick's books because I love her books so much. I've got nearly about nine or something like that. I'm getting quite a collection, but yeah, there's a, still quite a few ones uh, that I want to get. But seventy five pence, well worth it. And um, the last book I got was when I went yesterday into this sort of fair trade shop uh, that's in town. Um, and there's like loads of old, cool old, old style books, like hardbacks, in this sort of back bit of the shop. And I was getting a few um, things for my boyfriend's birthday, which may have been on the 8th of June. I'm not a good girlfriend. But I... He's only coming home today, so... I'll get to give them today, but I found this little book for me, which is Minor Works of Jane Austen. It's like a little collection, it's like volume 6 and like a series of stuff that's like got all, like those are the first five ones, like just her novels, but these are the little bits, like the fragments of Lady Susan, the Watson, Sanditon, which I swear was Sandition, but obviously I've misread it for ages, because when you see it you see T O N, you always seem to think there's an I in there, like it's Shun, but it's not. It's also got like um, a plan of a novel, opinions on Mansfield Park and Emma, and some verses and prayers, and like some general notes and stuff. It's like a pretty good companion looking thing to sort of Jane Austen's other stuff. So I'm quite interested in reading that, and it's a gorgeous little book, although you can tell by the spine that it's been sat out, facing out on the shelf near sunlight for quite a while, but still it's an otherwise pretty good nick, and it only cost me uh, like five pounds, so it's pretty good. So that's all I have in my mailbox, and there won't be a post next week at all, because I'm going to be in Barbados, and unless I am really bad, buy some books while I'm there, I should end up coming back after after this post afterwards, which should be nothing, but knowing me, I don't know, if there's bookshops there, I could go mad, really, although, depending on, obviously, how much stuff my hammer suitcase is going out, will be dependent on how much I can bring back, mm. but, anyway, <sighs> I shall hopefully see you all in two weeks, and, uh, do tell me what uh, you get in your mailbox this week. <laughs>